I really struggled with this video. Because, you see, there is a saying in the German language, die Wahrheit ist dem Menschen zumutbar, the truth is reasonable to man. The idea is that no truth on earth can really hurt somebody, because the truth is reasonable to man. But in this case I'm not so sure. I saw this video of Red Pill Coach. I'm not an extreme fan of his to be, uh, to say that least, but um, I, I, try, I like to listen to him because he has a different worldview and I like to observe different worldviews and I really wanted to know what he had to say about the kryptonite of women. So what he had to say was this. You have to get that through your head. A woman who is threatened with social ostracism will do anything. And if she is actually socially ostracized, for her, it's the end of the world. I've been ostracized in my time in, in different situations, in different groups. And yeah, it wasn't fun, you know? I mean, nobody likes it, but you know, I survived. It wasn't the end of the world. I wasn't crying into my pillow or any shit like that. But if I'd been a girl, yeah, I would have been crying into my pillow. So this was of course a short excerpt and if we summarize it very very shortly then it is that women are very dependent on what people think about them and their social uh, network. So if you threaten her with taking away this network then uh, she tends to do a lot to, to please you in the end. And you can use that, of course, if you are a guy, you can um, pimps do that. He, he takes this, uh, this example in his video that uh, pimps take runaways and then say, okay, I'm now your only family and if you do not want to lose me, you go out and be a prostitute. And this is, of course, a terrible truth, but it is an important truth. And it explains what we see right now, especially in social media, where banning and, uh, and uh, cutting down friendships and, and, and uh, unlisting you from, uh, from, from your site and so on is used as a weapon. You say what I want you to say or else. And this or else means in the case of women on social media, where they have in the end a certain amount of power, that they cut you away and that they ban you and so on and they do not talk to you anymore and they do not invite you to their, in the end, virtual parties. And the interesting thing is that this, of course, works well with other women. The thing is it does not work with guys. Because, again, as he say, points out, if you do this to a guy, it does not feel good, but you survive, you find another group. And this is, especially on social media, what happened? You lose a certain amount of people, you find other people who say, oh yeah, come over to our group, yes. These groups they are then a little bit more uh, male-centric because it is in the end ostracized males. But the interesting part is that there are women inside of these groups too. And guess what? They have got a lot of opportunities to pick out the best males inside of these groups. So, in the end, from a more or less evolutionary standpoint, those women who do not play this game with them have now way better opportunities to create a family with a reasonable guy. Because uh, all these women on the other side kicked out pretty much everybody who is uh, uh, who has who shares idea of in the end quote unquote toxic masculinity. So what do we end up with? Often on the one hand, a group full of women who try to change the world by kicking out everybody out of their social group, and this group is now more and more female, and with some little beta guys inside who try to please them and get a pity fuck now and then. And on the other hand, you have older guys in the end with a lot of women inside, then can cherry pick out the best guy. Which group of women do you think is more successful? Yeah. So it is absolutely understandable that young um, girls do not play this uh, game as much it seems. Uh, to a certain degree they will do it because in the end um, this is, again, he's right, most women fear that the most, getting kicked out of the group. They will accept violence if it uh, to, they, they accept to receive violence if it uh, let them stay in the group guys are different we do not like violence this is why we threaten everybody with violence in the, in the days past where we did that and did not find out that this works way better with democracy but back in the day when we were kings and emperors we said do that or I kick you with this very big shovel over the head 
and it worked more or less not really but we tried to make it work women try it differently they try to ostracize and try to pressure you into doing what they want you to do by saying or else i kick you out and it does not work and we we, we saw this now for about five years where uh this this idea of pressuring people by kicking them out of the of social groups it, it just do, does not work it absolutely does not work um and it it creates a very strong it creates very strong other groups so the thing is when you now create this group where you say okay the the main point here is community and we do not pressure you into believing something because we are family in the end or we are friends and you have a different point of view okay you want to leave you leave no problem but uh if, if you want uh, just to talk about it no problem I, I will listen to you no problem here so those groups who can provide a stronger coherence and a stronger feeling of social security where you say okay you, you can stay here it's, it's okay you are a lefty no problem you're still family brother this is not a problem those people will prevail especially with women because as he pointed out and this is a truth that is reasonable to men that women are very dependent on the social groups way more than men and women with a hunger for and a lust for power will try to use this truth to force you into something and it works with women but it doesn't work with men men created now different communities do they work as good as the uh, female centric communities i'm not, just, not so sure but they work good enough and uh, we see that they become more and more successful so uh, to understand again why we see now all this banning and, uh, and and casting people out of the group it is classic the fear uh, that, that a lot of women share of getting kicked out of uh, the social group and they think that this fear is shared by everybody so they can use this sheer this fear that is shared by everybody to uh, to force you to do something that they want you to do and as i said i say it here again it does not work so what you uh, if you are in the middle of a group and you want to bring people in your group do exactly that not and when you have people inside who think that this is a good idea to force people uh, into complying by saying you can uh, you can stay in our group if you behave so and so and so reduce that a little bit say um, you might lose some benefits but we still have uh, we still accept you this is the way to go and this is important to understand is the most important thing to take away from this video the please do not take away from this video how to become a good pimp because i would hate you for that but uh take away how you uh how you create an environment where the pimp has no chance so thanks for listening like share and subscribe and have a wonderful day